Geekom sent us their A5 mini PC with the Ryzen 5825U. And instead of doing a typical PC review, we thought, let's see if this little box can handle virtualization for our retro lab. The first thing we did was blow away Windows and Pixie boot into Proxmox VE 9.1. This is actually our first time using Proxmox, and we know it's meant to run headless, but we're installing KDE anyway, so we can use it as a desktop too. We wanted to spin up some retro VMs, but we immediately ran into a problem. Proxmox doesn't support floppy disk images, but that's not stopping us. We can just pixie boot into any DOS floppy image we want. After copying the install files from the virtual CD-ROM, we're in that classic Windows 95 setup. A few minutes later, we're booting Windows for the first time. But not so fast. We hit a CPU protection fault, and we fixed that by running the Fix95 CPU patch. After copying over some drivers, we've got our Windows 95 VM on the local network. This has given us some ideas about what else we can do with VMs here, so we're not stopping at Windows 95. Stay tuned for what's next.